Thanks, Minnie. This is the Apple Watch Series 2. It's the follow-up to the Apple Watch Series 1, which is what they're calling the original Apple Watch. Inside the Apple Watch Series 2 is the brand new S2 chip, which is much faster, and that means the performance of the Apple Watch is going to be considerably faster than the first edition. So while the Apple Watch Series 2 looks essentially the same as the original Apple Watch, there are a couple of tiny little differences, and they're important ones. There's an extra little hole on the side, and the speaker grille is wider. Underneath that speaker grill is new speaker technology, which actually, after you've gone for a swim, will spit the water back out. Apple Watch Series 2 is the first Apple Watch with built-in GPS. That means you can leave your iPhone behind and still get directions. With the built-in GPS, the Apple Watch can track your workout route. You can also see with the faster S2 chip that the watch draws maps much, much more quickly. This is the first Apple Watch that's ready to go for a swim. You just open workouts, Select one of the swims, like pool swim, select how long you're going to swim, hit start, and you'll notice there's a little raindrop up at the top, and that says it's ready to hit the water, basically up to 50 meters deep, which means this is essentially waterproof. And if you're ready to stop your workout, you'll notice that you see this little raindrop here when you press the digital crown. And what that means is you're going to now send the water out of the speaker. So as soon as I start turning this, That sound vibrates and pushes any extra water right out of those slots. Apple Watch Series 2 comes with Watch OS 3, and this really changes the interface, but all for the good. First of all, you can sweep left or right to change the watch face. You can sweep up from the bottom and bring up the brand new control center, which gives you quick access to a number of key features. This button on the side now is for the app dock. So your most frequently used apps, up to 10, appear within here. And at any point, you can get rid of them by holding or sweeping up and hitting the X. You also get a brand new message system. So if you hit messages, you've got all these options for sending cute and fun messages. You've still got digital touch. You've got these two fingers you can press on. Now I'm sending a heartbeat. You can tap. You can draw. And all of this stuff will go to your recipient. You can also use something called Scribble, which is pretty cool. Scribble lets you write in letters. Then the letters appear right up top. The Apple Watch Series 2 charges the same way as the previous Apple Watch. It's wireless charging, goes right on the wireless charging base. There is a bigger battery inside of here, which should give you more battery life. In my tests, I got a full day. These watches are still over $300, unless you buy the original Apple Watch Series 1 and get for $269. And if you buy the ceramic watch, you're going to pay around $1,000. Click here to see our Apple iPhone 7 Plus review, here to see our AirPods review, and here to subscribe.